All right, so before I show this passive hook cheat, I would just like to say if you guys decide to buy a premium cheat instead, then check out cs2-cheats.com. In here, you can buy a premium cheat such as Annex, Midnight, or Never Lose, or whatever else you prefer. Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rux. Welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And today, we are checking out a free cheat for you poor people out there. And this free cheat is called Passive. So, Passive Hook is fairly new and it's an external cheat. If you guys are interested in this cheat, I have it linked down below if you guys want to try it out yourself so i'm just gonna be going over all the futures and uh, checking out first of all the esp is a bit laggy for me but again i don't know i'm just gonna be completely honest because this isn't no one has told me to do this video i'm just doing it and let's make an honest review so we have different parts over here we have legit bot nade helper players world main config so legit bots you know what i'm gonna start with the visuals so we have enable and then we have off screen and sound ESP. We also have uh, enemies and teammates over here. So let's enable the ESP and then click on manage elements. And this is how you set up the ESP for you people that don't actually know. So you need to press the manage elements and then you need to like, you know, press uh, player name, weapon name, etc. So um, I like to have these settings. Uh, they have skeleton, bounding box, player name, weapon name, weapon icon, grenade. Also another important note to know about Pass the Hook is that they don't actually have an official website. It's just a, uh, a GitHub file, basically. Um, so that's there is no like constant update or anything, as far as I'm concerned. It's just that file. So just be aware of that. And I do not, I do not know if this is actually undetected or not. I have not tested it. I'm not sure. I want to test it. It probably is because CS goes. I mean, CS2's anti cheat is pretty dog shit at the moment. So it probably is undetected. But listen, if something happens, do not come back blaming me for it because I'm not responsible for any bans. You use cheats at your own risk, especially free cheats at your own risk. Anyway, so we have player name, weapon name. Basically, you can click on them and then they will enable weapon icon grenades. If they have which nades, oh, that's pretty cool. I'll show you which nades they have. Uh, we have armor ESP. We, if they have this, if they have the bomb or not. Pin pull, defuse kit, ping, uh, reload, scope flash. Spotted state in Zeus range. We have a health bar, we have an armor bar, and we have an ammo bar. Then we have a bounding box and a skeleton. Now, I don't actually know if you can change these colors. That would be interesting to know. Um, I don't think you can. No, I don't actually think you can change the colors of anything. So these are basically the colors that you have and nothing else. And then we have the same thing for friendly. So if you want ESP on your mates, then you can also set up the ESP over here. In the legit aimbots, we have enable. We can obviously set a key or a bind to it. So let's do M1. The weapon config, let's do a global priority. We have ignore teammates. We have viz check. There's, this feature is disabled. Please choose a valid VPK map from the main tab. Okay. Non sticky. Uh, we have a custom FOV little bar here. We have a smoothness. We can customize the smoothness X and Y by pressing that little thing over there. We have aiming type, static, and dynamic. And we have different hitboxes. We, we can only choose one, I guess. So we'll go with head. We also have a trigger bot. Let's go ahead and bind that to mouse 5. And let's see if that actually works. So, what? why is it not shooting, man? Why is it not shooting? Did I get a bot? Mouse 5. Oh, key mode. Let's do hold. Now then. Yeah, now it works. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but as you can see, the... the like, I'm not sure how to explain it, but the ESP is very, very... Uh, low fps i'm not sure if you guys can see it on the video but on my screen it's quite you know like and this is by the way when they are standing still so it's probably worse in the game though but anyway we have that and then we have uh what else do we have we have recoil control system it's good to have and we have visualize vis visualize i can't even talk anymore drive for vm visual visualize hitbox yeah the aimbot works for sure aimbot works the only thing i have a problem with is this esp it's annoying me a lot man i don't know maybe this is our only me problem uh that's the problem with the externals anyway we have a nade helper as well uh we can enable them i'm not gonna be doing this doing that in this video because that'll just take ages but i guess you guys can figure this out on your own world that we have remove flash effect let's see if this actually works put this up to the test so this worked. 
Oh, it does actually work. Nice. Modify FOV. We have smoke modulation. Let's see what that does. Let's just remove the smoke or... Let's see. Okay, it just makes it blue, I guess. We can change the color of this as well. To whatever. Smoke, uh, smoke removal. Let's try this now. Wait, let's enable smoke. Maybe it's... Maybe it's gonna be removed now. Yeah, so you can remove smokes, that's great. We have, I guess, some sort of a night mode? No? Yeah, I guess it's a night mode. Okay. It's a very, very slow night mode though. World entities, you can enable World DSP, dropped items, projectiles, and planted C4. In the main tab over here, we have Velocity Graph, and then we also have a No Scope Crosshair or a Sniper Crosshair. We have a Hit Sound, we have a Hit Marker, we have Accent Color, this is basically, I guess, for the menu itself. You can enable Safe Mode, and we have Discord RPC, we have VPay Map. You can also join the Discord server by pressing this button over here. You can toggle this button, and it will basically... Make it stream proof. If I do this now, I'm pretty sure my recording is gonna stop because that's what happened last time. So I'm not gonna enable this. But yeah, you guys can disable and enable the watermark. You can add a Spotify add-on, whatever that is. Keybinds list, spec list, and that's about it. We also have a config section where you can save and load people's configs. That was pretty much it for the video, guys. If you guys are interested in trying this cheat out, the link is in the description down below. But yeah, boys, that was it for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want a premium cheat instead, then check out cs2-cheats.com because they do offer the best premium cheats out there for the best price. If you guys want to join some giveaways, join my Discord server. I have weekly giveaways there for premium CS2 cheats and all the shit like that. And we just have a good time, so join that as well. But anyway, boys, my name is Rux, and I'm out. Peace.